I'm Madhul Kumar discussing with you factoring techniques in this playlist. Now here we'll focus on difference of cubes as the factoring technique. I hope you remember the formula a cube minus b cube could be written as a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square, right? If you have a cube plus b cube, then the formula changes a bit and we get a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. Both these examples which I have taken here with our difference of cubes, you can actually factor and find the limit. So you can pause the video, factor and find limits of these questions, right? So let's work it out. So the first one is limit x approaches 3, x cube minus 3 cube, right? You write this as 3 cube. Let me write, rewrite this first. x cube minus 3 cube. Now it's absolutely clear, x minus 3. So now I'll factor it, limit, x approaches 3, a cube minus b cube formula, so a minus b, which is x minus 3 in this case, square, and then sum, right? 3x multiply plus 3 square, which is 9, divided by x minus 3. x minus 3, x minus 3 cancel out. So you get limit. x approaches 3. And the function is x square plus 3x plus 9. Now you can substitute 3 here. So you get 3 square plus 3 times 3 plus 9. And that is indeed... 9 plus 9 plus 9, which is 27, right? So that is how you can factor and find limit for such questions very easily, right? I'd like you to pause the video and do the second question yourself. Here is my solution. We could write this as limit. x approaches 8. Cube root of x minus 2. Now... Can I write this as a cube? Yes, I can. I can write this as uh, x cube root cube. Do you see that? Cube root cube. Do you see that? So that is x, right? Minus 2 cube. Do you see that? So we could actually do this with rationalization also. But rationalization is kind of tricky for cube root and cubic functions. Prefer to use either variable substitution or this technique of factoring. Is it okay? So let's go ahead and factor this out. Limit x approaches 8 and we have cube root of x minus 2 divided by, this is a cube minus b cube, right? a is cube root of x. We could write this as cube root of x minus 2 times square of this. That means cube root of x square, right? Plus multiply them 2 times cube root of x plus square of 2 which is 4 is it okay and now the numerator gets cancelled out with the factor in the denominator so we could write this as limit x approaches 8 for 1 over we have cube root of x square plus 2 times cube root of x plus 4. So if I substitute 8 here, what do I get? I get 1 over cube root of 8 square plus 2 times cube root of 8 plus 4. Now that is equal to cube root of 8 is 2. 2 squared is 4, right? So we get 4 plus cube root of 8 is 4 plus 4 plus 4. And the answer is 1 over 12, correct? So we get 1 over 12 for this particular question, right? So go through the steps and I hope you appreciate it. Now let me give you a practice question for you. We'll use sum. So let's change this question a bit. So we'll have limit. Let me write down first limit. X approaches. I'm just changing it to minus 8. Is it okay? And we'll change the question to cube root X plus 2 divided by x plus 8, right? 
So use the formula AQ plus PQ and get your answer for this particular question. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.